it's no surprise that we've all used conditional formatting before. Did you know you can apply multiple rules in the same column? This will help you highlight cell values with different colors that match the criteria. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I'm Ishraq Kader and in today's quick tutorial, I'll show you how to apply multiple rules to the same column using conditional formatting. For this video, I'll use Microsoft Excel 365. Consider the Exotic Fruits Company dataset, which contains the item names, unit price, followed by quantity, and lastly, the cost column. Here I want to apply these three rules in my cost column using Excel's conditional formatting option. I'll select from E5 to E13 range, then click the Home tab. In the Style section, I'll click on Conditional Formatting drop-down. Then I'll choose the New Rule option. This opens up the New Formatting Rule dialog box. Here we can format cells based on their values, format only values that are above or below average, or use a formula to determine which cells to format. In my case, I'll choose Format Only Cells that contain Option. If I click on this drop-down, we can format cell values, dates occurring, blanks, etc. I'll select the default Cell Value option. If I click on the second drop-down, we can also specify other conditions, like Between, Equal To, Greater Than, Less Than, etc. In my case, I'll choose Greater Than option. For the last field, I'll press Equal and type 100. So basically, we want to format those cells whose values are greater than 100, which is our first rule. I'll click on Format. This opens up the Format Cells dialog box. Click the Fill section. Here you can choose any color according to your liking. In my case, I'll choose this shade of orange. Click on OK. Click on OK again. And we can see the values that are greater than 100 are highlighted according to the color. In a similar way, I'll apply the second rule. Select from E5 to E13 range. Click the Home tab. In the Style section, click Conditional Formatting. Go to New Rule. In the New Formatting Rule dialog box, select Format Only Cells that contain option. Here, I'll change from Between to Greater Than. For the third field, I'll press Equal and type 90. So we want to format the cell values that are greater than 90, which is my second rule. Click on Format. In the Fill section, choose a color according to your liking. I'll choose this shade of blue. Click on OK. Click on OK again. This time, all the values that are greater than 90 are highlighted. However, the first rule of greater than 100 has been replaced. I'll fix that in a short while. But first, I'll apply the third rule. Again, select E5 to E13 range. Click the Home tab. In the Style section, click Conditional Formatting. Go to New Rule. Choose Format Only Cells that contain Option. Click the drop-down and choose Greater Than. Here, press Equal and type 80 to format those cell values that are greater than 80. Click on Format. This time, I'll choose this shade of gold. Click on OK. Click on OK again. This time, we can see that all the values that are greater than 80 are highlighted in this shade of gold. We can also see that the cell values that are less than 80 are not highlighted. To apply all three rules at the same time, select from E5 to E13 range, click the Home tab, in the Style section, click Conditional Formatting, then go to Manage Rules. This opens up Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box. Here, I'll specify the correct order for each of the three rules. That is, first, I want to check whether the cell value is greater than 100. Then, I'll check if it's greater than 90, and so on. So I'll select cell value greater than 100 option. Click on this arrow to move it to the top. Similarly, choose cell value greater than 90 and move it to the second position. Make sure to check stop if true option for the first and second rules. To make sure that Excel checks whether the cell value is greater than 100, then stops, then applies the second rule, and then the third rule. Lastly, click on Apply and we can already see that the cell colors have changed according to each rule. Click on OK. We can also see that the cells which do not conform to either of the three rules remain unhighlighted. And there you go. We've applied multiple rules for the same column. 
Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemy.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye!